Hello, Mona's Gems. I hope everyone is having a terrific Tuesday. I was led to come on here to discuss something. And the topic today is moving forward. Why are you allowing yourself to stay stuck in a situation for um, a relationship, marriage, dating? And why do you allow yourself to let someone cause you to get angry, rageful? Um, again, as I always say, your feelings is your feelings. And no one should um, ever make you feel a certain type of way. So the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, okay, this topic is not just solely for women. It's for men as well. We have to do better than this. If you are in a relationship, I'm speaking with some mm, today, right? If you are in a relationship with anyone, it could be a relationship with uh, your animals because animals know how to act in certain ways too. But <laughs> they said a dog could be a man's best friend, a woman's too. But I just had to put that out there. If you are in a relationship with someone, and you've been in a relationship with that person for, I say, three plus years. I'm going to just give it that. You should be able to have something together. Now, I will, I will say this. If you are in a relationship with someone over three years, you should not feel like you are stuck or you allow someone to enable or be an enabler towards someone that does not want to move forward. We all should have our own goals, our own mindset, and the things that we are wanting to have and achieve in our lives. Our lives. If you're not married to someone and you've been together for three years, five years, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you see you doing the same thing you was doing those three years. Because, like I said, I try to give things the benefit of the doubt, but we often do that too often. You know, we're not supposed to. You know, everybody's not on the same pace or everything. Everybody's on a different mindset. But if we are trying to move forward. And achieve having something. We supposed to be able to sit down with a plan, not one sided. Yeah, you girl got her nails done. Not one sided. I'm gonna listen to you. You're gonna listen to me. We're gonna come together with your ideas, my ideas, suggestions, all of the above. The key factor in a relationship is communication. You should be able to communicate with whomever you are in a relationship with. It could be your children. If you and your children are together, or if you and your children are in a household together, uh, I can use this as an uh, instance. I live with my baby girl, okay? I live with her from 2014, and then I came back in 2017 with goals, my motto is, you should always have one foot in the door and one out the door. I'm saying this to say, I'm being transparent. This is about me. This is about a journey, my lifestyle. And I like to share things with you so you can open up and see how we really are as a people. So I'm saying that is, I had to sit back and like say, you know what? You have to prioritize yourself too. I never loafed off no one. But I felt so bad and sad and everything, not discouraged, because I wanted to do for myself, because I had always done for myself, even though I was taking care of myself. I used to feel so bad. I said, who would have thought I would have to live with my baby girl? There comes a point in time in life when we get older, we have to do things like that. But I was so sad. I felt at home, had my own room. But I put my mind together in 2017. I said, you know what? All this stuff that I'm not doing and having, not having, and ain't moving forward and feeling stuck. 
You got to do something for yourself. That's my transparency to you. So I'm saying this. If you see that you are in a relationship or situation with yourself, it could be just you. You can have a relationship with yourself. Okay. And you're not moving forward. Why are you stuck? Why are you stuck? We can only blame ourselves. We can't always point the finger at nobody else. You are responsible for your own happiness. And that's what I found. I found my own happiness. You can find it. Yes, I've been down a dirt road before. But sometimes you want to go on that smooth road. And it feels good. That journey and that ride feels so good. But it does not start unless you start. I hate to see men sad. I hate to see men go through things. And especially some good men. And of course women. Why is it that us as people, men, women, women, men, because I'm not one-sided. We feel as if we have to tolerate a certain behavior from people. We have to do better for ourselves. That's why I don't make no New Year's resolution and I won't. Because I don't like to break my own promises. I write down my goals, my aspirations, and things that I like to achieve. I do it on a daily basis. My older sister makes fun of me, but it's true. I write. I'm a doodler. I like to write down everything. But that works for me, and it could work for you too. We have to declutter our brain. Write a journal, a bucket list of things that you want to achieve. But don't keep tolerating other people's behavior if it makes you feel some type of way. We can't do that. That doesn't help us. If you're already depressed or if you already have some kind of like ADHD or, you know, high levels of anxiety and things that you can't cope with, why would you continue to keep that dead weight? And that is really the truth. Dead weight. I done had dead weight. I released my dead weight. Okay. This is my journey as well. This is me telling you. And we cannot keep doing that. That's not a good feeling. Sometimes, you know what? You could be so healthy. But hearing and seeing other people's uh, negativity and just sitting around and not doing nothing. And then they want to blame you for them not getting up and getting dressed. We can't keep putting up with that. So I advise you as a gem and a jewel that you are, because I always say you are a gem, a hidden gem that needs to come out. People suffer from depression. I was on the prayer call last night. I don't know the person's name and not putting nobody's name out there. And also in um, later part of November 2021. Okay, we're in 2022. Okay. And people are taking their lives. That's not the way to do it. No, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You can have a better life for yourself. Abuse is abuse. A depression don't have to beat you. Anxiety neither. You can win from that. But until you decide you are fed up and don't want it anymore, it's going to keep being there. This is coming sincerely from my heart to yours. Almost kind of emotional with it, but it's okay. Because it's sticking to home. I've been there. I know other people that's there. I know someone that's there now. And I'm trying to help them. And it's a man. Okay. So I'm sharing this video to whoever might come on and see it. Subscribe to my channel. I want to help you. 
help you. Okay? So, again, you are a gem, a hidden jewel. And I don't think I really stutter too much in this video, but you will come through. Have a good day and shine bright like a diamond because there is a rainbow or a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You got to find your path in your own life. We want to shine.